Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick video today. Uh, I was at O'Reilly's Auto Parts and I found a pretty cool product. It's called Duplicolors Hot Tires. Um, it's pretty much tire paint. It comes in yellow, red, and white. And it lets you color in the, the uh, letters on your tires, uh, whatever they may be. Um, I think it ends up looking really good. Um, it makes the car look kind of more sporty in my opinion. Um, it was about seven bucks for one marker. Uh, I've done two coats on each front tire and I, feel, I think I still have enough for two coats on each rear tire. So one pen should be enough to do all four of your tires, uh, unless you have a lot of letters on your tires. Anyway, I'm gonna show you the process on how to color your letters in with this pen. It's super simple, I uh, just thought I'd do a quick video because I really do like the product. So let's go to the back of the car and we can get started on the rear tire. Okay, the first step here is going to be to clean your tire um, with some soap and water um, or whatever. Don't don't use wet shine or wet tire polish or anything on it before you put the uh, tire marker on. The surface just needs to be really clean, free of any dust, debris, brake dust, dirt, whatever. Um, so just get like a soap water cloth and uh, clean off the area that you're going to color in. And then dry it off with a towel. Don't use a paper towel because the uh, fibers kind of just stay in there and that affects your final product. Uh, make sure you dry this off really well. And here's something I'm going to mention. Uh, I have Nitto Neogen tires and Nitto with their tires they have these uh, I guess slits in the pattern for the letters. This causes the application of the uh, tire marker to be a little bit different than what's described in the description, but it's actually still super easy to apply as long as you follow what I do here. Okay, so before you apply the uh, marker, shake it up for about 10 seconds. And if you guys have ever used a, like a whiteout pen, you know, for for writing, um, just works pretty much the same way. Um, now before you actually use this, um, they say to press the tip of the pen down into something, uh, like a piece of plastic or something to kind of prime the tip. And that's pretty much just bringing the, uh, the paint down to the tip of the marker so that you can now apply it to the, to the tire. Okay, so when we apply this, Instead of you know using it like a regular marker, which does work as you can see, um, I'm actually gonna dab it on um, just like that, and this actually fills in all the cracks and crevices, and it doesn't leave any streaks. So the end result is really nice. So this is a long process. Um, I'll speed it up for you. God, that sounded terrible. Civic Wago van with straight pipes. Anyway, um, here's the finished product of the N after I uh, dabbed it in. You can see that there's no uh, real gaps or anything. Looks pretty good. Oh, I'm finally focused. So that's pretty much the process you're gonna go through for the rest of the letters or whatever else that you wanna color in. Um, one thing that I do recommend um, when you're doing this, um, make sure that your pen is always angled kind of at a downward angle. Um, if, you're, if you're keeping it straight or pointed up, the ink is not going to come out as well as it would if you're pointing it down. To do that, 
And for about every minute that you're using this pen, um, stop and shake it for about 10 seconds uh, so that the ink stays mixed and it doesn't separate while you're using it. Other than that, um, keep going. All right, so this is how it looks after one coat. Um, you can see I kind of went over the edges a little bit in a couple spots. But after one coat, um, you could probably use acetone or something to uh, clean that up. Just be careful with that stuff. And that's about it. Um, it looks really good with two coats. This is how it looks with two coats of the uh, hot tires. Um, you can see it looks really bold and nice. If you, if you have solid letters, unlike my car, um, you can probably use it just like a marker. Um, there's this little symbol here on my tires that are solid. Um, I also did the dabbing with these. Um, you can kind of tell it's a little sloppy. Um, but I still found when you use it like a pen or a marker, it leaves a lot of streaks and that just becomes a pain. Uh, later when you're trying to make things look good. Um, so you can use a combination of that and this technique and get your tires looking cool. Anyway, hope you guys like the video. Uh, hope you guys enjoy the product. Uh, I didn't get endorsed by them or anything. I just thought it was a really cool, cool product and it ends up looking really nice. Anyway guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe and comment on my videos. I love feedback from you. Um, I'll see you in the next video.